Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Wakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. It's your brother Dawada coming at you with another lesson. Lord Williams edifying. And I've been meditating on these these camps, man, who who can't see all right what the MOTB is. And they vehemently come up against what the scriptures say. Alright? And it's really because they haven't been renewed in the mind. You know, they they're not born again. Alright? And ultimately it's your how about y'all shy blocking the understanding not a fact let's get this let's go to the book of proverbs <clears throat> chapter 20 and verse 12 it says the hearing ear and the seeing eye the lord yahweh have made even both of them let's read this again the hearing ear and the seeing eye yeah carnally you can you can apply this, but spiritually, the hearing ear you, you you hear the words, but you don't understand. All right, you see the prophecies coming to pass, but you can't equate it in the scriptures. It, it is your your understanding is ultimately blocked because you haven't had your mind renewed. All right, you haven't been born again. It says the hearing ear and the seeing eye. The Lord have made even both of them. Let's let's look up a couple of words. <clears throat> Let's go to hearing, right? Strong's H eight thousand eighty five, Shama, Shama, and second entry, Shamaya, Shamaya. It says to hear, uh, in intelligently. It says uh, to tell. It says attentive. Call together, consent, consider, be content, declare, diligently discern. You're not discerning the times. You're not discerning, all right, what the MOTB is, right? It says, uh, what is that? Obedient, obey, perceive, proclaim. Publish, understand. See that? Understand. So ultimately, you can't understand this, this word because the Lord hasn't given you that understanding. Let's go to the Bible usage. It says to hear, to listen, obey, to hear, perceive by ear, to hear of or concerning, to hear, have power to hear. To hear with attention or interest, it says listen to, to understand, all right? So when it says the hearing ear, it's, it's talking about understanding, right? Let's go back. Let's get that word C. Because ultimately, you can't understand these things, all right, because they're spiritually discerned, you know? Let's get this word C. Strong's H, 7200. Ra'a. Ra'a. Let's see. Mm. Let's get the Bible usage. It says to see, look at, inspect, perceive. You can't perceive, all right, <laughs> even with all this information coming out, all right, regarding the MOTB. You can't. You can't perceive that what you're teaching is wrong. And the Lord said a little leaven leavened the whole lump. All right. That's why you, you counts can't can't uh proclaim <laughs> that you have one hundred percent truth. Right? It says to see, to see, perceive, to see, have vision. See, you can't look afar off. All right, you're you're not looking afar off. All right. It says to look at, see, regard, look after see after learn about 
observe, watch, look upon, look out, find out. It says to see, observe, consider, look at, give attention to, discern. Again, about discernment, man. You don't have discernment. Even with all this understanding coming out. All right? And, that, and that's the point on that. You don't have vision to see. Again, this is Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 12. The hearing ear, understanding, right? And the seeing eye, being able to have vision, to discern, the Lord have made even both of them. So ultimately, it's the Lord block your understanding, all right? Because your mind haven't been renewed. You haven't totally converted, all right? Don't scripture say, mark the perfect man, all right? You think the Lord made a mistake, send up our apostles and elders, and you want to vehemently come up against the doctrine of your how about shower shot, man? Matter of fact. Let's get that. Oh, Psalms <clears throat> chapter 37. And Psalms 37 and 37. It says, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of for the end of that man is peace. See? So you're, you're not marking a perfect man. You're really trying to go off your own understanding. All right? The Lord has set up leaders. <laughs> you read that in 2 Ezra chapter 1. All right? He set up leaders to uh, to facilitate the coming back of the sheep. All right? And you're supposed to mark that perfect man. All right? And then you got to actually go into these words to see whether or not the things that are being taught are true. All right, like the church of Berea. So this is Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. It says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So you got to be renewed in your mind. All right? And that's how it's going to come about. It's not going to come about. It's like it's not going to come about. You know, you you going off your own understanding, all right? Scripture tell us that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, okay? And, and these guys, you know, it it what is the uh, word I want to use? It has to play out that way. Someone has to fall into that lap, right? Again, Romans twelve and two. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And ultimately, you know, the, the perfect will of Yahweh by is to destroy this place. All right? In the meantime, he's going to have Esau, all right, push this MOTB. All right? Scripture say it causes all. Right? It didn't just say a uh, song. It says causes all. This is St. John chapter 3 and verse 3. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. You're not going to have vision of far off, man. All right? To understand the prophecies. All right, that's a critical prophecy that you can't get wrong. Okay, again, you're gonna have to come as newborn babes. All right, and the Lord used this analogy of a baby. When you're a baby, you're helpless. You're at the mercy of your caretaker. All right, they gotta teach you how to speak. You know, they gotta feed you. They gotta clothe you. Right, they gotta wipe your nasty ass. Clean up after you. Right. But the Lord used this analogy, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. You don't have a vision, or you don't have a vision to see afar off, all right? And, and you coming in this thing trying to blaze your own path is not going to work. Verse 4, Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? 
and be born and see he was straining at a net you know the lord was using something tangible to explain something spiritual and he went straight carnal and these guys are doing the same thing they're straining at a net and swallowing a camel all right they, they're trying to make it harder than what it is all you got to do is go into the words right verse five yahweh shall answer verily verily i say unto thee except the man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high see you got to be born of the water wash with the uh, water of this word and of the spirit ultimately the spirit ain't resting with you guys all right then the lord say he's going to send the the comforter which is the holy spirit and he will teach you all things and bring all things that i have said to you back to your remembrance paraphrasing right and you guys don't have it man this is first peter chapter 2 and verse 2 as newborn babes see as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby ultimately these guys are not growing because they haven't desired the sincere milk of the word all right they haven't cast off those things of the world ultimately you know that's the lord you how about shout shout blocking the understanding but as newborn babes, you're supposed to desire the sincere milk of the word. All right? Born again. You know? And again, these guys, you know, it's a, a very privileged position to be able to understand this truth. All right? Understand what the prophecies are. All right? And, and, and hold fast to that because... The Lord is getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. The Lord is really setting the stage for all these things to come to pass. All right? Demonization. All right? The MOTB being made mandatory. Right? Famine. Teeth of wild beasts. All these things are occurring at the same time. You got droughts around the world. Food shortages. You know? And these guys want to hold fast. To some bullshit doctrine. It's a spiritual mob. And you see the physical attributes. All right. Or the physical manifestation of these things. Shown to you. All right. It ain't just. You know. We, we speaking out our own vain opinion. No. The Lord is showing you. This thing can be used to track you. All right. This thing can be used to buy and sell. This thing can hold all your medical information, all your information, period. All right? As the scripture plainly say, it's going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive that mark. Okay? But again, you're not designed to sincere make of the word. All right? This thing is, is really uh, plain. Right? Let's get that. It's really plain. If you have, you know, if your eyes have been opened by your heart by Shabbat Shabbat. This is Ecclesiastes, Osirach chapter 39. Okay. Verse 8. Verse 8. As his ways are plain unto the holy. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And ultimately, if you can't receive, all right, if you can't get what the MOTB is, all right, you're ultimately wicked. Because the Lord said his ways are plain unto the holy, all right? And so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked, you know? Spiritual mark is not what it is, man. All right? Let's go here. Second Peter. <clears throat> chapter 3 and verse 1 this second epistle beloved see it's a separation right there this second epistle beloved I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance see these what the scriptures also say uh, to the pure are all things pure right well, guess what? The scripture is saying that you're not pure, man. All right? It's saying that you have living, all right, in your doctrine. And you can't 
get out of that. All right. It says that ye may be mindful of the words, see, which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And John, as they call him, John the Revelator. All right. He's a prophet of Yahweh by Shabbat But you're not mindful of the words. You want to take the word Mark. I don't see count. Take the word Mark and go to the word Mark. In Revelation 16 and 17, which is scopeo, all right, which means to fix your eyes upon, right? I just seen them go to the word mark in uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, which means the Y, which is a spiritual mark given by Yahweh by Shah. And they try and equate those words with the same word mark in Revelation 13 and 16, which is karagma. It's the root word is karax. Which is a a pale, a stake, a palisade. You see? You're not mindful of the words which were spoken. Let's read this again. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. See, you're not mindful. All right? You haven't had your pure mind stirred up. Okay? Now, when 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 this thing is made mandate, what are you gonna do, man? All right, are you gonna hold fast to that 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 doctrine? All right, are you gonna repent? Okay, cause the warning has went out, and if you don't get it now, man, when are you gonna get it? All right. This is First Corinthians, chapter two and verse fourteen. Ultimately, you, you're a natural man. All right. Ultimately, you guys are natural men. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. See, you don't have discernment, man. You don't have vision to see afar off. You don't have understanding to get these things. All right? Again, but the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. For they are foolishness unto him. Yeah, you want to say, we're not going to go with what the white men said. Man, that dude, dude from Wi-Fi, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know, you start out your your your, uh, your whole lesson being condescending, all right? And then you didn't even go into the word mark, okay? You're, you're a natural man, and you think this is foolishness, right? Now, we understand that the Lord, Yahweh Shah uh, conducts all things, but it doesn't uh, take away, you know, the zeal of us defending the gospel because you want to be right. No, nah, man, the scriptures are right. All right. You can't go off your own understanding. All right. Again, it says, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. And guess what? The Lord has revealed these things to his servants, the prophets. And until we're going to warn the people of the things to come. Because if you take that thing, thing that digital R, all right, that RFID, CHIP, <laughs> you're ultimately going to be destroyed in the lake of fire, man. All right? You're going to be had in derision. Okay? Let's close it out here. This is the book of Titus. Chapter 3. And I'm going to start at verse 3. For ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Disobedient. Deceived. Yeah, you guys are deceived, man. Serving divers lusts and pleasures. Living in malice and envy. Hateful and hating one another. You just want to be right. You know, you can't get that pride demon off you guys, man. It says, but after that, the kindness and love of the most high, our savior toward man appear. Who is that? That love and kindness toward what man? The Israelite man. All right. They ain't talking about everybody. It says, not by works of righteousness. Yeah, not by the law. That guy even said, <laughs> You're not going to get the understanding if you're not wearing fringes, man. Unreal. 
It says, not by the works of righteousness, which we have done, yeah, not by the law, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Now, it's supposed to say Holy Spirit, right? But we've been washed with regeneration. Our pure minds have been stirred up and the things have been again, once again, revealed to us and the Lord has opened us up, opened up our understanding, right? It says, and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Again, it should say Holy Spirit, right? Then King David say, renewing me a right spirit. Yeah, let's get that. Let's close it out there. That's what you guys need to be asking. <laughs> yeah, how about y'all shout to renewing you a right spirit? All right? So you can come out that madness of a spiritual mob. Okay? Come out that madness. Well, I want to start. The whole chapter is, 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 is great. I want to get to the point. Yeah, that's beautiful. Psalms 51 and 8. Make me to hear joy and gladness. What is that? This truth. This 100% truth. Make me to hear, understand, right? Joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, your clean mind, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. See, <laughs> cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. See, you had to be renewed in your mind, marking the perfect man so you can be taught, you know. You leaning on your own understanding when you say that the MOTB is a spiritual mark or an embargo or John 3.16, right? It says, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. See that? So after you done had your, your spirit renewed, then you're going to convert sinners unto your how about shah with All right? You're going to teach the correct doctrine. It's not going to be off your own understanding. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing. Come and meet you with another lesson. Till the next time I say shalom.